So Sasha Banks and Naomi walked out of WWE a few months ago. But in my universe, they return some point after the Royal Rumble and they go right after the women's titles. They win the women's tag titles and they become new tag team champions. By the way, I forgot to mention Sasha Banks and Naomi's returned as heels and they're, they're heels in the storyline. Now that they are champs, on Monday Night Raw, they say that they never lost titles in the first place. They walked out of WWE so others could walk in and then at the perfect time, they came back take away other people's glory other people's success but they say that they're back and i know all of us all of you missed us but they didn't miss us they go on and on disrespecting the fans but they say next week they want an open challenge so next week on raw we see we will see who accepts their challenge and whoever accepts the challenge they get a match at wrestlemania so there's a lot of hype going around and who's gonna accept the challenge it could be alexa bliss it could be Asuka, it could be damage control or it could be a debuting toxic attraction but next week we see trish stratus and and Lita. Both of them come out and say that they're the ones to accept the challenge. Currently, Sasha Banks and Naomi's aren't in the arena. Chris Stratus says that once she returned to WWE in a one-time appearance a few months ago, she said that she had one more match left in her. Lita says the same. Both of them are in really good shape and they say that they have one more run. They never held the tag team goal together because they didn't have the opportunity back then, but now they're grateful because they have the opportunity now. They say that at WrestleMania, Trish and Lita will become the new WWE women's tag team champions so next week we see a face to face with all the competitors we see a promo battle sasha and naomi called trish and lita old washed up pieces of shit all sasha and naomi keep doing is keep talking that shit about lita and lita gets annoyed he says lita says why don't we have a match right here right now lita versus naomi says why don't we have a match lita versus naomi before wrestlemania naomi didn't want to look like a pussy so she accepted later that night we're gonna see a, we're gonna see a match between naomi versus lita Lita. It's a big match. It's always nice to see Lita come back in the ring throughout the entire throughout the entire match It's a distraction after distraction The ma match ends with Lita winning and Naomi and Sasha Banks beat Lita up Trish Stratus wasn't at ringside during this match, but next week we're gonna see Trish Stratus versus Naomi This time Sasha Banks isn't at ringside with Naomi and Lita and Trish are together Trish wins the match clean and Naomi tries to beat Trish up after the match But Trish and Lita attack Naomi so Naomi has taken two losses from both Lita and Trish. The next week, Sasha, Naomi, Trish, and Lita are at the same arena at the same time, which is never a good thing. Sasha says that she and Naomi can't go to WrestleMania after losing two straight weeks in a row. So what Sasha says is that she wants a one-on-one -on -one match, Lita or Trish versus Sasha Banks. The person who accepts the challenge is Lita. Crowd goes wild. This alone could be a pay-per-view match, but we're gonna get to see on Raw. Match exceeds expectation. The time this time, no one really interferes in the match there's no distractions Sasha Banks wins the match and proves that she's the better wrestler Sasha's, so Sasha's ego is now heavily boosted it's all up through the roof and now she knows and now she goes around bragging that she beat up one of the pioneers of women's wrestling the Raw before Wrestlemania is brutal every person who's in a rivalry is brawling as the show starts see a whole bunch of superstars brawling chopping running assaulting their opponents they closing including Sasha Banks Naomi Trish Stratus and Lita. All four of them ended up by the entrance ramp. Triple H comes out to order everyone who is causing a ruckus or he's gonna cancel all the Wrestlemania matches. Because the show didn't officially start yet, everyone stops and goes backstage. But the show didn't officially start yet. So, but now after their brawl at the beginning of the show, we just have to wait till Wrestlemania. No more Monday Night Raw, no more SmackDown, no more Sasha and Naomi and stuff like that. It's time to wait until Wrestlemania and hey, it's Wrestlemania Night 1, Match 3, Trish Stratus, Lita vs Naomi and Sasha Banks. Both Sasha and Naomi come out as tag team champions. Trish and Lita also come out to a huge crowd reaction from the 80,000 fans inside SoFi Stadium. The atmosphere is wild. People have been waiting to see the two Hall of Famers to win championship gold. Now it's time for all the hell to break loose. The match begins and we get a stare down between Sasha and Trish. It surprisingly start at the match. The match consists of mainly bank statements and top rope moves. We get frequent tags and we'll them and both of them work together as a team. They dismantle their opponents. After a gruesome match, the, the WWE Tag Team Champion Sasha Banks and Naomi retain their titles. Both both of them leave the ring and Lita and Trish Stratus to celebrate their return because this is probably their last match in WWE. So even though Trish and Lita didn't win the championship gold, they still had a good match. They still went to WrestleMania. They still got cheered and everything worked out great. Sasha and Naomi are still the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions and this 
this is how I would book them. It was pretty fast how I did it. I don't want to waste your time. I'll see you guys in episode 4. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Chad Gable versus Kurt Angle. Hope you guys will watch that video. Also, watch my Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn video versus Usos. I also did Randy Orton versus Matt Riddle. So go check all those videos out. It's all in one playlist if you guys want to watch it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.